Hello there, this is Eurovision365 and I am Podrick and you are very welcome here to the channel where you are a new or returning viewer. Thanks so much for stopping by and a very warm welcome to you. Hello, if you're watching this from and in Serbia. Now I'm going to react to the song that has emerged victorious at the Serbian national final. And in that final of course there were some big hitters, namely Constracta who of course placed 5th at Eurovision 2022 with a song this time which sounds pretty much the same for me anyway as the one that represented them in 2022. Serbia as an independent nation took part at the Eurovision in 2007 and as we know as Eurovision fans won on the very first earning. I would say it's fair to say that Serbia have a mixed sort of results, mixed results, mixed fortune at the Eurovision and uh, haven't qualified all the time and they didn't qualify with this gorgeous song gorgeous song down here by Moya 3 back in 2013 absolutely absolutely adore the song and uh, yeah it was a great song for sure as I said they won on their first attempt and um, last year with Luke Black placed 24th unfortunately came fifth in 2022 as I said with Constracta and in 2021 with Hurricane placed 15th. Now I am sure the Serbs will want to do better this time around following Luke Black's placing last year but can this song that has won the national final do that? Well I'm going to react to it now so come along let's see you and I how it's going to first. Should we do this? Yeah let's do this. we have a winner in Serbia it's Teodora with a song Ramonda have a mournful kind of song Doomed is the one who is alone. So true, that actually. Kind of melancholy, kind of rhythm, melancholy melody. Beautiful, beautiful, oh, beautiful um, harmonies there. The rumbling of the thunder, I think I hear. Lelic Romando. Lovely harmonies there. Mm. This is so Serbian as well. I love it. I love the sounds. The flute. Sounds like a Serbian flute there. Mm. Nice staging as well, actually. Dark, just like the song, really lyrics very impassioned performance by Taya nice drums just more Im like impacting the lyrics impactful Lovely high note there as well. From the ashes raises up a single Lalek Ramonda. Ooh, uh, 
That's a nice song, I have to say. That's a lovely song that Serbia have selected. I'm going to be honest, okay? I really, really, really wanted Zoria to go. I thought if that had been selected in Serbia, it's game over, probably, for the rest of us at the contest because that was, for me, powerful, powerful song and would have stood out a mile at the contest, I think, and possibly have given Serbia their second win. That being said, this is a lovely, dark, kind of uh, mournful sound and mournful song. You know, the lyrics are, are talking about there's no rest, no rest for me. I am restless, I cannot sleep. The night won't give away to the dawn. Doomed is the one who is alone. Yeah, so it's like I'm screaming, but you can't hear my pain. So like I said, even though I was reading the lyrics there along, alongside this this evening, uh, because this isn't the first time I've heard the song, I thought if you don't know the lyrics, you can tell from the performance, from the melody, from the structure, from the staging. This is a dark one, but... It encapsulates, I think, what Theodora is trying to convey to us. There's pain, there's darkness, but hopefully there's going to be hope <laughs> amongst all of this. Um, it's one of those that I imagine would do reasonably well with the juries, maybe really well with the juries. I would imagine will do very well with the Serbian uh, neighbours as well. I think it will pick up a lot of votes from their neighbours. I just wonder how much mass appeal it will have outside of the sort of Balkan area. I'm hoping that does get a lot of support because it's a very nice song and, and, and Teodora is a very good singer with a lot of emotion. And I feel that, I connect with that in, in some layers and some levels. I, I hope it's enough. I hope it's enough to do well for Serbia. And Serbia will be in the first semi-final. And uh, all eyes will be on her to see if uh, she can qualify again. Just like Luke Black did in 2023 and Constructa the year before. And uh, yeah, nice song, nice song. Well done, Serbia. But now it's time for... Podrick's rating of this live performance. So my rating out of 10 based on this... Uh, late performance is we'll say 7.5 7 I'm hoping that that score will be elevated for me and I'm sure it will I'm sure it will um, I just think I think it has enough elements going for it I'm just interested to see how it's going to be translated to this stage right here behind me and yeah, I'm excited to see that. And of course, of course, I wish Serbia the very best of luck. And I would really, really want Serbia to do well uh, this year because um, I love the sounds that come from that nation. So that's what I think. But what do you think? Do you think Serbia are on course actually to win for the second time? Do you think they might struggle to qualify for the final? Or do you think it's a brilliant song let me know in the comments below i look forward as always to reading those and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next video but until then you take care and uh bye bye